With mental health and disability, um, it kind of follows the same pattern as the previous video. There is social construction, structuralist and the biomedical view. And with mental health and disability, the social construction view um, is again the idea that society makes you either disabled or mentally ill. And we can use the same example as before with the homosexuality, how it used to be deemed a mental illness, but now it isn't. Um, a study we can look at is Schatz. And he says that we label people mad if we don't like their behaviour or if we disagree with their opinions, like we could go, oh, George Bush is mad. And we don't actually mean that he's mad, we just mean that we don't like what he has to say. So that's another reason why it could be socially constructed. Um, another idea branching off of this is that we use mental health and disability as a tool of power. Um, so basically we use it to gain status over people, like putting them in an institution, possibly without their consent, like if they think they're fine, you put them in an institution and immediately you've got a higher status than them, even if they're not mentally ill. With biomedical, um, the points are basically the same. You can look at Ritalin and how it cures ADHD, or at least tones down the symptoms. And it's just the general idea that mental illness um, or disability can be proved like you're in a wheelchair it is because you've got something wrong with your legs it's a biomedical fact that you are disabled with the structuralist view um, again it's saying that um, it's real but society affects it and um, Fryer in 1995 says that there's a correlation between unemployment and mental health problems so um, it's suggesting that you're unemployed, which means you've got low income, which means you've got more stress, which can make you mentally ill, suffer from depression, which in this point of view can be looked at as, as a mental illness instead of as a social construction. Um, another way of looking at it is with disability, how someone could be in a wheelchair because they've hurt themselves, because they're paralysed or something, but they could be totally fine in their head. But it could be the restrictions put upon them that makes them be have to be more disabled than they actually are. So it's like not having ramps, having narrow doorways, they can't live the same life as non-disabled people can live. So um, it basically makes them worse off than they really are. Brown 1995 had a sort of feminist view on this and he looked at the role of women. Um, and he says that when a woman feels trapped, they're more likely to um, get mental illness. Um, so if they have to stay at home, if they have to clean the house, if they have all those responsibilities, then they're more likely to become mentally ill. So it's basically um, a structuralist view because it's the real symptoms, they are becoming mentally ill, but it's because of the way society is treating them and it's the whole um, view that there is a way that women should be seen to be like in society.